This is Brad from Argali and I have our YE 1P tent and our 1P tent insert right here and I'm going to show you how you can set it up. I'm going to show you how to pitch this with the insert attached and then how you can connect the insert after you've already pitched the tent. So there are times where uh, if you're you know, out hunting or backpacking and a storm gets on you really fast and you just wanna pitch the tent, get inside your tent and then put the insert up, uh, you can absolutely do that. But I'm gonna show you how to, how to pitch the insert and the tent together if you have a little bit more time you're not trying to get out of a storm uh, really quickly. So, first thing you wanna do, pull the tent out, pull the insert out, and you are going to lay out the insert first. like that and then you're going to find there's a single front door on the Owyhee and you're going to want to match up the door to the front of the tent and then you're going to find your corners and connect the cord on the inside of the corners to the sliding carabiner that is on each of the inserts here. So I'm just gonna clip that in. And I'm gonna loosen up this uh, line lock here to kind of provide a little bit of, a little bit of room. And then I'm going to do this corner. And basically what you're doing is just kind of matching up the inside of the insert to the inside of the tent. So I'm just gonna make my way around the back. There's one guy out point on the back of the tent. All right, so now I've got all four, there are four connection points for your insert to your tent. And then once you do that, you're gonna pitch the rain fly, the tent portion exactly uh, as you would if you weren't using the insert. And then after we do that, we're gonna go around each spot and we're just gonna grab these line locks on the insert and just snug them up. So now all I'm gonna do is just pitch the tent um, like I normally would. And when, what you wanna do um, when you pitch the tent, so think of this, the shape of this tent as you have more or less a rectangle with a triangle vestibule on the front and you wanna pitch that rectangular sleeping area space first. So you're gonna find your primary corner Grab one of our piton tent stakes. Leave a, depending on how you want to pitch it, you can pitch it tall if you want, or you can pitch this tent all the way down to the ground, depending on how much airflow you want. Um, we call that draft and no draft mode. I'm just gonna put the stake in the ground. Should have brought a hammer or a rock. So I'm just gonna try and square up the tent here. Just kind of ignore the insert for now. There's a rock. <laughs> it's too far over. All right. And so I'm just gonna try and pull this, kind of guess what a square, squaring it off looks like. there. Nice straight line along the back. I'm going to pull this out a little bit. One last point. Okay, so I've got a roughly kind of got a rectangle set here. 
There's two additional guy out points here, the door and then the back here, the back section. Uh, before I put either of those guy out points out or stake them out, I'm gonna put um, a trekking pole in the middle here. Now you can use a trekking pole. We designed this to be a trekking pole pitchable tent. Or you can use a dedicated pole if you want. I'm gonna open up, insert. So stick your trekking pole up into the X-Pack fabric cone here. Put it inside the tent or the insert portion along the chunk of X-Pack fabric down here. X-Pack fabric down there. Line up your cones. Then I'm gonna take the zipper door here, zip it up, and then lay on the front here. It's okay if you don't get the pitch perfect uh, when you first do it. Uh, the nice thing about the lock my rock. Nice thing about the line lock adjusters is uh, you can kind of make some small tweaks to the tent even if you uh, didn't get it perfect the first time. So if there's any of the tension on any of the seams, doesn't feel perfect, um, you can make some small adjustments. I've got a pretty well dialed first time here. All right, so this is a good example of not getting the pitch like perfect uh, the first time. So this seam in the back here has a little bit of slack in it. It's a little bit folded in. There's a, I don't have to readjust that stake though to get that seam exactly how I want it. I have the height about where I want it, which is pretty low to the ground right here. If I wanted to raise it up, I would uh, let out the line lock adjusters, the cord there, increase the height of my trekking pole, and then um, uh, guide out from there. What I'm gonna do though, is tighten this one up. I'm gonna loosen this one a hair. Tighten this one again. And that just kind of pulls the whole, the whole geometry of the tent over. So it's really easy and quick to adjust. As you can see, the last step is to get the insert snugged up. So we've got this thing pitched, but the corners are all a little loose. So you're gonna go in here, grab your tag in on this line lock, and you're just gonna snug that up. You're gonna do that on all the spots. And it's really easy to reach up underneath here and just grab that line lock and that paracord and give it a tug. Check a look, and it is nice and taut inside there. So that is how you pitch the Hawaii 1P tent. If you have any uh, questions, feel free to reach out to us. If you want more information, go to our website at argalioutdoors.com.